Psalms chapter 101, a psalm of David. Now this psalm is a psalm of profession of holiness, of godliness. And God asks you a question when I am done with this psalm, how do you measure up? You want to be holy? You want to be a Christian? You want to be a Bible believer? Choose you this day whom you will serve. That's what Joshua said. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. Starts off with praising, singing, joyfulness to God and God alone. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Number one, your conduct will be or should be in a perfect way. A way that is God approved doing to the best of your ability that you can even though you are a sinner. And wisely. That's number one. A way that is approved of God. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is to be your way or you're not approved of God. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? Do you desire the Lord Jesus Christ to come unto you? Do you desire for him to have fellowship as he knocks on the door and waiting for you to open the door? Are you desiring the blessed hope to come? Number two, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. That's number three. Is your heart perfect for the Lord in your house? Now, that doesn't mean, the, you know, four walls and a ceiling. That means your entire family. There are families out there I know that will give up a Sunday because of a family reunion or a family picnic that ain't right you are telling your family hey you're more important than God in his service and his word and the preacher for the preacher to get up there and give the message that he studied and your pew is empty with your family and your house and everybody's in it everybody that you hire in your house because they had servants is your heart perfect to God? I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. Television, computer, video, media, newspaper, books. What do your eyeballs see? You want to be a Christian? You don't dare set any wicked thing before your eyes. Now that's hard this day and age with billboards and all that. You may have to drive around that billboard, maybe take a little extra. It's hard with computers. I just walked the ball. I just watched the ball game. What are the advertisements? David says, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. Yeah, but Bathsheba, he took the second look. We're not 100%, but what are our goals for our heart? Do you wake up in the morning and say, Lord, prepare my heart because I don't know what kind of battle I'm going to have today. I don't know what this flesh is going to do or see or hear. I don't know what Satan wants of me today to fail you. I don't know what you want of me, Lord, to please you. I need help. I hate the work of them that turn aside. When Demas left, Paul let him go. 
When the prodigal son left, the father let him go. For turning on God. What if God would have turned on his walk? On the way to the cross, I ah, just forget it. It ain't worth it. What they're going to do to me in 2014, it's not worth it. You'd be lost and burning in, in hell and going to the lake of fire with no hope and no salvation. Have Christ given up and turned aside. It shall not cleave to me. What? Wicked things and then that turn aside. Cleave here means to join to. I believe Adam says, and, 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 the, and the husband and wife shall cleave and be one. What wicked things are before you and, and what fellowship do you have with people? A forward, a perverse, quite opposite of repent, because it means to turn or look from. Now that's an important definition in the 1828 Webster's Dictionary. means you have your eyes right and you turn away. Repent means you are looking in the wrong direction and you turn to what is right. Forward is complete opposite. It's not forward as in going ahead. It's forward. A forward heart. You know, a guy can go to church. And he can be perverse. A guy can put money in the plate. And he can be perverse. A forward heart shall depart from me. Now, David's king. He would not allow perverseness before his throne. He would not allow perverseness before him. We live in a wicked age. It's all around us. But do you try hard not for it to be there? You know, I bring my MP3 player and I play it at work. And with the music's overhead, I find myself now singing them stupid, wicked songs. I need a little more prayer life. I need to seek God. Satan's entering into the eardrums. That is a forward. You know how many of those singers came out of Baptist churches? You know how I many of those singers claim to be Baptist? Whoso privily slanders his neighbor, him will I cut off. Lying. Gossip. Thou shalt not bear false witness. You're not to hear when people talk about others. You're to close your ears, turn around, and go away. If it's something that needs to be heard, something that needs to be said, go get the other parties involved. Him that has a high look, proud, pride, and a proud heart, will not I suffer. David would not put up with the United States of America and Americans. Union pride, American pride, proud to be American, stars and stripes, apple pie. We're the best of all the best. We're number one. David said, I want to have nothing to do with you. Is that your attitude? Is that your conduct?
My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land. Again, the land is Jewish. David's going to look out of his kingdom. He's going to say, I'm going to find the faithful ones and I'm going to stick with them. Those who have not turned away. Those who have not quit. Those who are not forward. Those who are not wicked. Those who will work, walk in a perfect way. Those that desire to please God. Those that have done what is right. And do not lie. And are not prideful. Or proud. Them I will go seek. And find and be with. That they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way. He shall serve me. Wow, David hired men that were Christians. You can't do that in America today. You can't operate your own business by conscience and dedication and, content and contentment. You can't operate your business by your what you believe is right or wrong without the government stepping in. You mark my word as this government gets even tougher and gets even harder and these, these sodomites and these people step out more and more and more, you will see small business, you will see family business failed and doors, signs say closed. The government has to push what the people don't believe in. Because them people are in the government. Why make marijuana legal, make it legal in three or four states today? They were smoking it in Woodstock. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. Boot them right out. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Implying, you don't want to serve the Lord, get out. I'll help you. That's a hard thing. Because Ammon worked the seat to get Tamar. David's brother's son was involved in that. I don't know with family relations. Cousin or something like that. If you want profession of godliness, how are you measuring up? Well, look at David. Look at da yeah, look at David. But what about you? You're going to give an account of yourself. What is your standard of living? Is it a Bible standard? Is it Satan's standard? Or do you walk that thin line and down the middle of the road? He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. Hmm. I don't even want to look upon a liar. That's hard. But does God lie? The only liar that is recorded in the Bible is John 8, 44, and Satan himself. He's the father of the lies. Every lie is of Satan. I will rend I will early destroy all the wicked of the land. If that was so. If David would destroy all them that God was against and he told Israel what to get out of there, it would have been a whole different story. Solomon only brought the women back. 
And Solomon had a conscience. I'm not going to let the the the, uh, easy, uh, the uh, Egyptian wife of mine. I'm not going to let her dwell in the city because there's, 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 she's wrong. So I'll build her her own house. You know why America is in the condition she is today? Because you allow the the wicked to, to be in the land. You gave them a constitution right to be in the land and do what they want to do. You gave them a constitution paper without God, without Jesus Christ, without the King James Bible. Now, had you put down the Constitution that the, the law and the word of the land is the King James 1611 Bible, the God of this nation is the Lord God of that Bible, the Savior and Protector of this nation is the Lord Jesus Christ, things would be a lot different today. Oh, would you kill, you know, no. I would escort them out of the country and back to their land with their gods. But you can't do that because the Constitution says they have the right to practice whatever religion they want. While Bible-believing Christians are forced under the ground and into the closets. While God is taken out of the schools and taken out of the courtroom. Should have been a reversal. But the Bible is right, and God said that the church age will end in apostasy, and we are going that route. God is right, always will be right, and his word will be bound forever. The church age ends with a failure. So I guess the Constitution had to be without God and without the Lord Jesus Christ for the word of God to be right. Pretty soon you're going to have to send missionaries to America. You don't believe me? There are missionaries being sent to England, the home of the King James Bible. The land that the sun never set upon their empire, they sent missionaries out in groves. And look at their spiritual condition today. <coughs> that I may cut off all wicked, wicked doers from the city of the Lord. That's Jerusalem. All right. Let's go back to verse 1. I will sing in the mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I know it's only recorded once that Jesus Christ sang a hymn. That was after he, uh, they finished the, 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 the Last Supper as they were going to the garden. Are you trying to tell me that Jesus never sang? You telling me he was never joyful? He never sang to God his Father? I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. When was Jesus Christ ever a brat? The Bible records Peter says in 1 Peter that Jesus did not open his mouth before Pilate. He did right. There was no guile found in him. He was 100%. He was a sinless child. He was a sinless man. He did everything he was supposed to in a 100% way. Oh, when will thou come unto me? When are, you going, when are you going to come to Jesus Christ and do what he tells you to do and to believe on his finished work? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. 100% heart that Jesus Christ had for no sin. He will walk in the house of the land of Israel, his people, John chapter 1, and do it perfect. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. Purposely and knowingly, Christ never said anything wicked. That will incite the imagination. That will incite the f flesh. Now there were wicked people that came to Jesus that their lives were changed or they walked another route. The rich young ruler came to Jesus. What must I do? And he didn't want to do it so he walked away. The woman at the well believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. The woman who committed adultery 
He dealt with her, told her that she was a sinner, go and sin no, no more. I hate the work of them that turn aside. John 6.66 6, said that his, most of his disciples turned away and went away and did not follow him no more. Do you think he went, hey guys, come on back, come on. Come on. On the road in Amos, he's, he's walking with the two disciples and he's about, they're about to go one way. He's about to go another way. And Jesus would have kept on going except for one thing. Will you come with us and join us? Jesus is walking on the water. He passes the boat. He kept on going to the other side unless the disciples said, Hey, Jesus, help us. Okay. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. So how many of those priests and Romans died and went to hell? Pilate turned aside. Four times he's declared by Pilate to be sinless, innocent, no fault. And Pilate turned aside and had him crucified. Why? A forward heart shall depart from me. As in a lost man into the lake of fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. Implying a Christian should not ever have a forward heart. They ought never to have a reverse repent in their life. What's James say about the works? Works without faith. Faith without works. Them people that turn away, I'm telling you. Them they're not serving the Lord today. According to James, you got a question. Especially if they turn away for perverse things. I will not know a wicked person. Well, Jesus was around him, and he, he had he had Judas as one of his his disciples. And what's the Bible say about the occupants of New Jerusalem? Nor whoremonger, no adulterer, no committed lie. How about that? Who so previously slanders his neighbor? Him will I cut off. Boy, they had a roundup of, of people who were going to speak against him, didn't they? They spoke slander of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, we caught this woman in adultery. You slandered her. Because where is the guy that was supposed to be with her? You need two people. Christ is a judge. He don't go for slander. Him will I cut off. You don't want to be cut off by Jesus Christ. Now this is an Old Testament book. Talking to Jews. Him that has a high look and a proud heart. Will not I suffer. We be of Abraham's seed. They said in John. Jesus said of these stones over here. I'm able to raise up. Children of Abraham. If you were of Abraham. You wouldn't seek out to kill me. What, what, what do you mean we're out to kill you? You liars. Because then a group of people come and say, why didn't you kill him? He's right there. There is no pride or high look with God. God never says, I'm proud of you. Never. He says, well done. I am well pleased. Thou art faithful. My eyes shall be upon the fruit faithful of the land. 
You want the eyes of Jesus to be upon you? Be the faithful. Be faithful unto death. Be faithful unto the rapture. Be faithful to him. That they may dwell with me. They are my sheep, he says in, in John chapter 10. I call them and they know me by name. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Faithfulness will get you to serve the Lord. Will get you to dwell with him. My eyes shall be upon the faithful land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Life comes by the way and the truth. The three go together. They're like the Trinity. You can't have the way without the truth and the life. You can't have the truth without the way and the life. You can't have the life without the truth and the way. You need all three. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. Satan will be put down. Used car salesmen and lawyers and politicians will be put down. Those that work deceit. Read about Jude and, and 1 Peter when they talk about deceitful workers. Read what Paul says that they're going to be in the church house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight and believe one of one's Spoken in Revelation says, liars shall have their part in the lake of fire that burneth with brimstone. They will not be in Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, excuse me. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land. Early. When he comes from the second advent, as he comes, before he goes into the land, he destroys the wicked. That I may cut off all wicked doers. From the city of the Lord. He does that before he arrives at Jerusalem. With the sword that comes out of his mouth. And the judgment of the goats and the sheep. And the goats are cast off into everlasting fire. Jesus Christ fulfilled that chapter completely. He set an example for us. How we are to live. How do you measure up? David couldn't do it all. But God said something. David has a heart that's after my own heart, I believe. David may not have been perfect, but his heart was. And that's what counts. Is your heart, your conduct, your motive. You know, you can go out and do something very stupid or foolish to try and win people to Christ. Newborn babes do it all the time in Christ. Because their heart, it, it, they want to do what the Lord tells them to do. They get excited and they go do something. And God blesses it. You know, it's amazing all the stories I've heard for the people who go knocking on doors for the first time. The first time you knock on that door, you know, you, you've been through a few doors and finally it's your turn. You you don't even know who, who your name is anymore. You don't know anything anymore. You're standing there at the door speechless, and that's the one person all day will let you in the house and talk. Is your heart right toward God? That's the difference. Well, with the heart, man believes on the righteousness. It's not what you think. It's what your heart feels. It's your love for the Lord, your motive. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, 
I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee.